They float in the winter sunshine. Shimmering islands silently generating enough power for a small city. On the shore, new sections of solar panels are bolted together and then floated out to join the others. The lake they occupy was formed by the collapse of a disused coal mine underground that would otherwise go to waste. We designed these sections like this, especially for this area. They work no matter how much the land floods. The water helps cool the panels and keeps them free of dust to make them more efficient. Anhui, like other provinces, is experiencing an unusually severe winter. If it's the result of climate change, it's a reminder that a country which has built its prosperity on coal must look to renewable energy for its future. With its demand for energy, China is still burning about half the world's coal, but that is fast changing. The government has promised to spend $360 billion on clean energy by 2020. And the difference is clear to see, quite literally. Beijing and other cities in northern China have been enjoying blue skies this winter, largely because of a restriction on coal burning. It's a controversial policy that's left many people shivering without enough alternative energy sources. But it's given a glimpse of a smog-free future without coal. Back in Anhui, the coal mine and power station can be seen beyond the solar panels. Zhu Chuanyin used to work there, but says the solar farm pays him twice as much and he's happy to work above ground. My son also works in the industry. He's got a job putting panels on people's roofs. Part of a new workforce that will eventually number in the millions, finding a cleaner life in green energy. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Anhui Province, China.